The Shadows Game. In the quaint town of Shadowmere, as autumn leaves crunched beneath eager steps, the eerie spirit of Halloween loomed. Among the town's children, a curious game emerged as the veil of dusk cast long shadows. It was a simple game of mimicry, a dance of light and dark as we played with our silhouettes against the pale moonlight. On the night of Halloween, as the last light of day bid adieu, our little group gathered in the old town square, where ancient lanterns cast eerie glows. The shadows danced along the cobblestones as we played, our laughter echoing through the deserted streets. As the night deepened, so did our game. Our shadows started to seem more pronounced, their shapes darker against the haunting moon. But the first shiver of fear crawled up my spine when I noticed my shadow, or rather, it noticed me. It winked with a dark void where its I should be. Ignoring the cold dread settling within, we continued our game until one by one, we realized our shadows were no longer mimicking us. They played their own sinister game, their dark fingers sketching eerie shapes in the cold night. With a sudden jolt of terror, we tried to run, but the shadows clung to our heels, their dark forms a sinister snare. They guided us through the twisted lanes of Shadowmere to the heart of the ancient, forsaken graveyard. The world around seemed to morph as we were led to a tombstone encrusted with forgotten lore. The shadows danced around it, their eerie silhouettes now grotesque figures against the ghostly fog that enveloped the night. As the clock tower chimed midnight, a dark figure emerged from the shadows, its hollow eyes a void to the unknown. It spoke in a voice that resonated through the veil of death, telling tales of forgotten curses and ancient packs. With a cold realization, I understood that we were pawns in a game that transcended the mortal realm, a game that danced upon the edge of shadows and lore. As the figure beckoned, the shadows engulfed us, pulling us into an abyss where time and reality twisted. The night was a never-ending play of dark intentions as our shadows reveled in the sinister game. As the first rays of the sun cast a pale, hopeful light, the shadows retreated, releasing us from the cold grasp of the night. We found ourselves back in the town square, the eerie silence a haunting reminder of the sinister game. The Shadows game was a tale that echoed through the misty mornings and eerie nights of Shadowmere, a chilling play of light and dark that revealed the sinister lore that danced upon the shadows of the quaint town. Each Halloween, as the veil of dusk descends, a shiver runs through the spine of Shadowmere, a cold whisper of the night where shadows played a sinister game, a night where the veil between light and dark was hauntingly lifted.